Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle, and I'd like to help new and aspiring entrepreneurs to start and grow their online business. So in this video, I want to show you how you can create a professional looking email signature. So if you have your own business, you want to make sure that you have an email signature that looks professional as well as a professional email address. So we're using Gmail in this example, but I'm sure you can use this in any email um, system that you are using. All right, so I'm in Canva here, and we're going to start with the template because we're not reinventing the wheel over here. All right, so we'll put an email template. And well, let's just do email signature template to kind of narrow it down. All right, and then we come up with all of these. So you want to pick one that's as close as possible to your brand, to your niche. And um, we'll do a little, you're going to change it around a little bit. So it doesn't have to be exactly what you're looking for, but just something that you know you can work with. All right. So let's pick, and I haven't really looked through these before. Um, so let's go ahead and pick, let's see, they all look nice, but, um, 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 and I believe they're actually more, they're more email signature templates than this. I just want to show you in case you decide to do it so you can see all of them. So yeah, they're a lot more than that. All right. So we we're going to pick one. Let's pick. Uh, we'll pick this one. We'll pick this one. All right. So the first thing we'll do is change the colors around and add in other elements. So if you don't want the picture here, you can put your own picture here or you can just delete it. And let's say you sell, um, let's say you sell candles. You can just look for a nice picture of a candle and you can put that here if you don't want to put your picture there it's up to you you can change this to your own name just double click on it and you just type in um let's see mary gold and then up here if you click on this arrow you can change the font so it's whatever font you want you can drag the corners to make it bigger and really customize it to make it look like your brand all right business owner we can leave the background there that's fine now the colors you can click on the background and you can change the color but the, what we're doing is we'll probably print this as a transparent background anyway so the background won't matter too much but what we do want to take off are these elements here and you'll see why in a minute but we'll delete all that I deleted the background but it's fine we don't need that all right, so what we're left with is the name. I can make it a little bit bigger now. And the title. So you can put shop owner, you can put um, entrepreneur, whatever it is you do. You can put that there. And leave it large enough for people to see it in your email signature. All right, so don't be shy. Uh, this background here, I mean, if you wanted that there, you could change it to match or you can take it off, whatever you like. All right. And then we'll make this a little bit bigger. This could be your name or business name here, whatever you like. All right. So we're saving this and we're going to upload this or download this as a PNG with a transparent background. All right, so we'll download that. Okay, and we'll use that in a little bit. All right, so now the next thing we want to do is create another um, page here, but we can go ahead and resize it. Or if you don't have the pro account, you would just go ahead and create another document. And it'll be smaller. So we're going to do like a 500 by 500. Um, so we can use that for our icons. All right. So just ignore this because we already downloaded what we needed. So we'll just go ahead and add a page. And now on this page, you want to go to elements and look for the icons that we'll use on the signature block. So for example, if you wanted to direct people to an Instagram account, you would just put in the Instagram logo here. And if you want to have like the circle, the colored circle around your icons, you'd go to shapes, which is always under elements and you drag the corner 
Let's make this a little bit smaller. Make this one centered. Okay, then drag your circle, which I think I messed up here. All right, make sure that's in the middle. You can tell it's in the middle by looking at the see the crosshairs. That's in the middle. Go to position and send it backwards. Now you can make this color whatever color you want, but we'll make it to match the colors that were in our signature block. If you remember, they were a little bit, um, they were kind of like a brown taupe color. So we'll make it match, all right? So now we've got our Instagram icon here. Now we're gonna click on this uh, box here to duplicate the page, and we'll just delete this. So now we're adding in, let's say you have a Pinterest account. You could type in Pinterest, And then you can use any of the icons, but I'm just using black so it's uniform. And then you want to put that icon right in the middle. Okay. You can look and make sure it's the right size. Then you'll duplicate it by clicking on these plus signs once again. Delete the Pinterest thing here. And let's say you have a blog or a website. You can look for an icon that makes sense for a website. And then you would size that in the middle, put that in the middle, like the other ones. And then we'll duplicate one more time, delete this one. And then we'll direct this one to, let's say you've got an Etsy shop. So put in shop. You could either use like a, a shopping cart or you can use a little, little shop icon. We'll use this one and put it in the middle. Okay, I think it's about the same size. All right, so now we've got our icons. So what we want to do with these is you click on one and then go to share. And you do want to download it, but you don't want to download all five pages. You just want to download this one. So you click on this arrow where it says all pages and then deselect those and just select this one page that we want. Click done. Transparent background, download. All right, we'll do it again. Click on page three, go to share, download, select pages. Now we just want page three. Click done, transparent background, and then download. Same with page four, share, download, Select the page. Now we just want page four. Done. Transparent background. Download. Okay. And then the last one. Share. Download. Get the page range. Just want page five. Click done. Transparent background. All right. So now we have all the pieces that we need for our signature block. Okay. Now we're going into Gmail now and where I am in Gmail is under settings. So if you have a Gmail account and you go over here to settings, you can click on, I'm already in here, but if you click on here, the first thing you'll see is uh, all settings and you'll go there and then you'll see all these options for your Gmail account. All right. So what I'm going to do here is click into this area down here under general tab and you scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see the option to create a signature okay so that's what I did I put the address and information here already so now I just need an image for this so what I'll do here is click on this little box or it says insert image and I go to upload and I can drag my file here so I'm gonna drag I think this yeah the first image here which should be the actual image here. Okay. That's the one that we did. That's why we wanted to clear background. What we're going to do now is make sure that you go down to the next line, because this line here is the image. So you want to go down to the next line to put our icons underneath. Okay. You'll go to insert image, upload, and then we'll drag the first image. Scroll down, 
click on that and then we'll just make it small because otherwise it'll be huge all right go right next to this one again click on image upload drag your second image in there remember we have four go down click on it and make it small because it's making these all really big but that's fine go one over insert your image upload drag your third image in there and you can put in whatever whatever icons you want we just happen to do four make it small and then one more upload and we'll drag in the last one the shot one that we did and then we'll scroll down now when you do yours I didn't mind 500 by 500 otherwise it would be so small it would be hard for you to really see what I'm doing but if you want these to be smaller make them smaller just make them maybe 200 by 200 pixels or 100 by 100 pixels they don't have to be this large all right so now that we have them all here what we're going to do is select right with the mouse select just by dragging right over the icon okay left click the mouse and we're just selecting that one you're going to click on this hyperlink thing here with <laughs> hyperlink um, icon and you want to put in whatever address it is so if you've got an Etsy shop you'd put in a link to your Etsy shop here and you click OK so you gotta do it. next this one you're gonna do the same thing make sure that this is selected okay go to the hyperlink put in website click OK and you're gonna do that for all of these and ooh, ooh, I didn't mean to do that okay make sure it's still there okay I think it's still there all right so you're gonna select that go to the hyperlink put in the Pinterest Maybe I should have put an HTTP, but I did not. And then for Instagram, select that. And then click OK. And then now what you want to do is save your changes. All right, so now if I click on Compose, oops, let me send myself. A test email all right then I go over to my other Gmail account and then just wait for it to come through okay there it is the test and there's the email uh, signature block right there and if you click on it you see it'll take you the first one was to Etsy the second one was to Google and this was Pinterest and the last one was um, Instagram so very easy it looks really nice again when you do yours you can of course make these smaller but you wouldn't have been able to see me working with them so I would suggest maybe 100 pixels and then just test it out and then when you're actually you know inside of Canva just make them smaller so it doesn't take up the whole box all right and if you you know let's size it down a little bit just to show you if you do them you know like this size it should be fine it'll, it'll be fine just make sure that it's centered and you're good to go okay so I hope that helps. You should go ahead and try that out. You can do most of this, if not all of this, with the free Canva account. So if you don't have a Canva account, go ahead and try it out. I'll leave a link in the description. If you learned anything from this video or if you liked it, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. If you need help actually setting up a Gmail account, let me know in the comments. and I'll make a video starting from that point. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.